Hey you guys, it's me Gemstone from TerraFreeHealing.com. I hope you guys are doing really well. This is your monthly astrological reading for the month of September and this is for Aquarius. And um, I'm going to be start off, starting off with your playing cards, then I'll get into the more specific areas of your life using the beautiful creatures tarot. And I also pulled an angel answers card for you as well. So, your playing cards the eight of clubs eight two <laughs> two of clubs the seven of clubs the king of clubs and the jack of clubs so what i see here in when it comes to your um reading all of these are clubs for one so how i feel this energy is playing out for you is obviously it's a very fiery energy but i feel like it's fiery in terms of competition i feel like you're going to be very 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 competitive in the month of september aquarius the first card it was making me feel like you are trying to branch out you're trying to do something that um maybe you've been waiting on waiting for something to come through you've just been trying to either do something new or you've started on something that's in sort of the new ish kind of phases like it's in the more beginning phases and then you are but then it's like you're very competitive with what you're trying to do you're really wanting to you want that opportunity to be yours you want it to be yours you want that job to be yours or whatever is on the table whatever it is that you're wanting it's like it's you, you're just you have a tunnel vision right now like all you can see is this being in your grasp and then with um the king of clubs again it's like you're highly competitive you're really bringing your a game to this situation and you are just you're on top of things it's like you know it's supposed to be yours and that's just the way it's supposed to be it's like there's ego involved here like i think if you didn't get what you wanted like your ego would be bruised like you would really it would really upset you because you're just you can't see yourself without having this thing and then with the jack of clubs again it's like um again all the things that are motivating you is this the sense of new beginning that is coming through with this opportunity and then what i'm even seeing is that it could be that you go up against somebody else and i think maybe you have more experience than this other person or more qualifications than this other person it's almost like you have a leg up on them whereas they might be still in like their own, their learning stage so it's almost like um you know i can kind of see that you you may have the edge on this other person anyway if it comes to competing for a job or doing some kind of competitive sport or um anything where you're going to be going up against somebody else <laughs> you could do really well because i think that you are just you're not prepared to lose in september and you're really going to put like your full energy your full time your attention into this thing that you're really wanting and i think that you will definitely get success because in your work you have the ten of earths the ten of earths is showing that there is money behind this competitive streak that you have in you and so you might even be um, entering into some kind of competition to win some money and end up winning something. So it's like the Ten of Earths can represent a significant amount of money coming through. Or um, again, it can represent some kind of assistance from, um, it could be assistance from a bank. Uh, it could be assistance, it could be inheritance from somebody else. It's, it's sort of um, money that can almost have some kind of legacy attached to it and again it can be something that helps you to support your family helps you to maybe think of the future of you and your family so um i think that how this card can be playing out for you uh, to be honest i think that these playing cards are definitely talking about a work situation that's really what i'm feeling here and i think that it this with the ten of earth showing up in um uh, alongside those other cards is that you're going to be victorious in what you're trying to do and so it's like you're going to get through whatever whatever phases you have to go through to, of this competition 
competitiveness whether it's like interview stages or like some kind of um because you know in some interviews they, they have like you have to do group interviews and a single interview and phone interview all these different things and so if it's like that's what you're having to do it's showing that you're going to have success in the end and you're really going to be putting your full um your or your all into this so it has no choice but to be successful basically so um it's kind of saying wherever you place your energy is where you're going to find the success if you just go into a situation and you just are dead on energy and you're just not even really trying and all this other stuff then it's like okay it's not going to happen but like i said in the previous cards if you do what is going on there like you're just really on top of your game you know it's yours you believe it to be yours then it can come through for you and i feel like something really good can be showing up in your work with that kind of attitude so um for those of you that are in relationships you have the free you have the three card which is the empress and um the empress can be um somebody that is very nurturing it can be uh, a wife it can mean somebody that um Again, I don't like to just say wife because then, you know, there's some people that are like, well, you know, I'm looking for a husband <laughs> kind of thing. Or, you know, I have a husband. So, but I feel like it can represent that kind of energy too. It, it's just somebody, especially if it's in a relationship, it can be somebody that is very nurturing. Somebody um, that is... Um, somebody that you, can, that you really love because this card, uh, the Empress is also ruled... Um, by venus you know so it can be talking about love and money kind of situations um a feeling of abundance abundant in love so i want to just pull another card just to get some more clarification and that's the nymph of earth the card that showed up here so they both like even the empress has even though it's like ruled by venus usually when you see the empress she kind of has a bit of that earth Venus to her almost like the queen of pentacles but because she's a major she's like you know more she is, she's of higher ranking than the um the queen of pentacles but then it could be saying that you may be embodying that kind of energy um even though you are an air sign it doesn't mean that we just embrace only you know that one sign we embrace all the others it just depends on you know how the planets are like transiting and all this other stuff so um what i'm kind of feeling is that there is a very earthy feel to a relationship and to me that kind of earthy feel can represent a feeling of feeling safe in a relationship feeling like uh, this is a relationship where your partner isn't going to be going anywhere where there is a future here there's a future to be had the empress can also represent bringing in new you know beginnings it can be birthing something new as well and so that might also be connecting with this earth card in saying that maybe for some of you guys you might have new additions to your family or this might be a really good time for you to spend more time with your family um it's just having that quality time and just enjoying each other's company um yeah and with this kind of card um the nymph of earth it could be saying again that there is there is something new that could be coming through too with your relationships that's kind of what i'm feeling i'm i am feeling for some of you guys this definitely could be a, like a child <laughs> as well but it's something that solidifies the relationship if it hasn't yet been solidified or that makes it more serious um i just feel like there's a great sense of love with these cards and just care and paying attention to your partner and so if you haven't been doing that kind of thing it's sort of saying like you know you have to sort of rekindle or recapture that kind of um feeling in this relationship because it would really it would really just be beneficial to kind of just keep this relationship together so yes that's what i'm getting with those cards the um for those of you that are single i have the wheel of fortune and the wheel of fortune to me is um showing that you can change things up you can switch things up in your life if you are currently single like you can easily switch that up to being in a relationship um because the wheel of fortune can represent almost being like in the opposite circumstances to where you began 
so it's saying that things can reach full circle it's almost a card it's also a card that is associated with karma as well so you get in what you deserve and so uh, but that can sometimes go either way sometimes it can be getting what you deserve in the sense of like a really good situation um like you know the relationship that you've wanted your whole life coming to you but then it also can be getting what you deserve like if you are a player or somebody <laughs> like it could be like that coming back on you kind of situation so it's sort of saying be careful what you put out there with the wheel of fortune because it can come back to you um but the Wheel of Fortune also gives a, it's a really good card because it gives you the opportunity to really uh, learn some lessons as well. Learn some pretty powerful lessons when it comes to love as well. So, I'm just going to look at the details of this the card at the bottom. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull an additional card for this one as well and see what comes up. Oh, the one of Earth. So you have the Ace of Pentacles showing up with this one. And with the Nymph of Pentacles. So even for those of you that are like single, there's opportunities. For again, there's like another earthy kind of energy. For you, stable kind of energy, consistent kind of energy. It can be, sometimes this earth kind of energy, not about it, but it can sometimes be a bit boring as well. Like it can be a bit just like, like that. Like you know, it's nothing exciting, nothing really bad, but it's just like in the mill. Can be, be like that as well. So maybe September might be feeling a bit like that. It might just be feeling like everything is just okay you know it might it might not be like a terribly like exciting month or like it terribly like um i think if there's any excitement it'll be happening in your work kind of situation only because of them playing cards that showed up i kind of feel it there but it's kind of it's a very stable month um september for you which you know if that's what you're looking for then it's like really good the only thing is that there might not be like a lot of like uh, extra stuff going on like otherwise it's quite like a serious month um so even if you're single that's what you might be feeling as well but i feel like with the wheel of fortune with the eight of earths it could be saying that it like for some of you guys that is probably what you're wanting you're wanting something to finally come through that is somebody that's consistent somebody that's going to be around not somebody that is just here today gone tomorrow like I, I feel that that's what you're kind of looking for and if that's what you want then it's like there's going to be opportunities for that to kind of come about um so that's quite good uh the your spiritual card on the other hand is where you get a bit of fire again which is the realm of fire so maybe that's why like you're just super competitive this month because you've got sort of aries going on in your <laughs> spirit you know you're channeling that aries energy which is just like pow you know like just get up and go but then it also can again be responsible for that very competitive energy that you're kind of feeling as well and also that energy that makes you very self-assured and and um know what your self-worth is and know what you deserve and so um it's so funny because um actually i'm not going to go into that because that's just so left like off the topic <laughs> but um it kind of basically what i would say is if if you don't even get, get anything from this reading i would say this is a month for you to get what you deserve that's what this is about for you aquarius this is a month where you can get what you feel that you deserve and it's all going to come from you just feeling within yourself within your spirit that it is time it is time so it's like you're coming out of the gate just racing towards what it is that you feel like okay this is mine and you're just you, you just have that you know and i think that for quite a few of you the air signs they seem to have that kind of thing about them because i was kind of feeling i was feeling a bit with gemini but with you it's like it's a full-on energy it's like it's not just a wavering energy it's like you're just <laughs> that's you in september and so you can get a lot done and you can get very far 
in a short space of time and then even your card it says yes <laughs> so basically it's like whatever you're trying to do this card is confirming it for you like yes you can obtain the things that you want yes you are deserving of these things yes you can move forward in whatever situation you want to move forward in it's like it's giving you the green light and that's all you need to just keep on going so i like this card for you it's a good month so, I'll see you guys. Bye.